Hi, my name is Adrian from Broad Lane Leisure. I welcome Mr. and Mrs. Davies to their new vehicle, which is a Swift Fairway 560. 60. <laughs> Thanks very much, Lottie, because I'd already forgotten it. It's a 560. Uh, Mr. Davies, we're going to send you uh, this particular video, but also an additional two videos. Uh, I've already uh, done a full demonstration of a Swift Fairway 470, which we shot on Saturday and uh, it's exactly the same layout uh, sorry it's exactly the same uh, products and workings of that vehicle as it is with your vehicle uh, the reason i'm just doing this brief entry uh, introduction is to show you to your particular caravan and its layout and some of the variants that you will have between the two but it purely is the layout variant only so uh, if you'd like to join me you've got a double bed at the front end of the caravan uh, to make a double bed is just drawing the slat board uh, which you pull from this area here, you put it all the way to the end of the of the runners until the slat board is in this location here. That stops the board from then running back once you've got it past those two plastic lugs, one on either side. Uh, to make the double bed up, to continue with that, if that was fully extended, you, re you use the reverse sides of the cushions. So I'm referring you to sleep on that side because that is a nice flat surface as compared to the few undulations that you will get on the on the front face of the upholstery and I'd also recommend that the face cushion is rolled over completely so that the knee support edge that is the front edge is now on the outside edge of the wall and when this mattress comes into place you find that you do then get a nice flat mattress area if you've got the knee support coming here uh, you will get an undulation you get a, a bump that's uh, very uncomfortable to sleep on so Use the reverse sides of the mattress, that is the recommendation by the manufacturer. And move the knee roll, which is this, this area here, to the outside edge, because that part of the mattress is slightly thicker to that part. So that is uh, just to make a bed at the front area. We have covered everything I see within the video, so things like the command systems, the Truma combi boiler has all been covered in the previous video that we will be sending you. As a link um, the only other area we're going to come through is to the bathroom which is now central in this particular vehicle and you've obviously got the transverse bed area uh, I say transverse sorry it's coming off the back wall so with this particular caravan central bathroom obviously shower cubicle vanity basin and toilet the toilet operation is exactly the same as what it was on the previous uh, video that we've done and the only other variation that you've got is the bedroom area itself uh, which is a fixed double bed, but where the other one was to the side of the vehicle, this one's now central. Uh, you have got good access underneath the bed internally only. All right, so it's an internal access to this bed area only. Um, the spare wheel is still uh, mounted underneath the bed as it was on the previous video that we've got. These can be relocated should you wish to onto spare wheel carriers, but they are additional costs. Um, and uh, it is something, the type of work that we do offer within Broad Lane, it's quite easy for us to do so. And these additional uh, cushions that you see here, I think is uh, for, if you take the chest of drawers out at the front, you can actually use it as a wrap round seating area. So you've got a base cushion and a backrest cushion that's provided in this vehicle right now for yourself, so that you can use it as a wrap round seating area. And really, after that, the workings that you see on the other video that we've already pre-done will be the same as what you've got on your vehicle here. I hope you find the videos to be informative. If you do need any further help or information, by all means, please give us a call and we'll gladly try and help you further over the phone. It's better if we can do it face to face, but over the phone, that will be initial. And we'll see where we can go from there. Many thanks indeed. I wish you all the best with your new vehicle.